Hello, hello everyone, and welcome again to another LEGO Barnacle video. For today, guys, we are going to be doing another Let's Build on the awesome Mystica set. Now, guys, here we have the Barnacle Toa Gali. And, guys, this is set number 8688 for the ages of 7 to 16 and was released in 2008. Now, this specific set, guys, is very interesting because it actually has 60 pieces, uh, 13 less pieces than the actual Toa Tahu. And uh, that's interesting. I don't know why. Maybe because of the weapons, but uh, yeah, very, very cool. Uh, though. Again, guys, I wanted to show you the Mask of Life, also known as the Agnika, worn by the great Mata Nui. And you can see it there, guys, the detail. I definitely like the, you know, the scarring type of look there. Uh, very nice, I have to say. And uh, there is the clean uh, other side. Or I should say the clean uh side of his face, if that's the right word. The same thing in the back there, guys. Uh, you know, you can see the six Toas. Uh, unfortunately, this is a second-hand set, so um, uh, you can't really, you know, like, the the just the look of it, you can tell it's second-hand. Uh, it has a few bumps and, you know, tears and rips, and that's uh, alright. You know, I'm not really fussed about that, but uh, I bought it quite reasonably cheap. I bought it for 10 New Zealand dollars. Personally, to me, that's quite cheap, uh, because you can't really find these sets, uh, of course, anymore. More. and uh, to have one of these sets is really cool and uh, here also guys you can see the Fentokas you can stick them on the back of the Toas and then that's what you kind of get uh, you know same principle showing you it in the last video but do go check it out guys I did do a let's build on Toa Tahu so please do check it out guys it is in the link in the description below so yeah there's that and then it kind of shows you the weapon trigger etc etc there's a code but who really cares we can't use it anyway there is the barnacle sign and there is Gali herself. And she is still in her, you know, her Toa Nuva state. And so she is known as Gali Nuva. And uh, I checked it all on the internet. It is known as the Adaptive Armor. So this is in their Adaptive Armor, upgraded armor, upgraded weapons. And uh, looks really cool. More robotic than the actual original, I guess, Toa Nuvas uh, in that sense. Because the weapons look more, I guess, futuristic and uh, robotic if that's the right word but wow they look very cool there uh, quite different to um, actually to Tahu in the sense that you know the weapon is a bit different it has an aiming sight there okay let's open this uh, hopefully this just opens up I really hope it does fingers crossed oh okay this is not opening up oh man okay this is really sealed tightly. Oh, I finally actually opened up the box, or I should say the canister, and wow, I it required a lot of effort and force there, to be honest. Uh, sealed very tightly, I have to say. Wow, okay, that's quite annoying. <laughs> but anyway, let's get out all the pieces. There we go. Anything else inside? If you guys can't really see it, but yeah, it's quite pitch black in there. There's nothing else inside. Here is the booklet. Very nice booklet there. Now, of course, uh, same picture there shown on the actual canister. But cool, um, you know, blah, blah, blah. There are the uh, instructions. Yada, yada, yada. Anyway, let's get into the actual build. So the first thing we need to do is to actually make the weapon again. And uh, for those of you who actually have seen my... <laughs> My first let's build on the Mystica set, I kind of failed in actually trying to, um, or to try and trigger the weapon because, you know, it just didn't work properly. Uh, I, you know, after a few trials, it actually finally worked. And, uh, yeah, took a while, but it was okay in the end, thankfully, so that's not a problem. Boom. And then we finally need the actual, uh, I guess, ammo piece. And uh, let's see if this actually works. Okay, this is another fail. Ah, oh, there we go. So it does work, and it's quite fast, guys, I have to say. And nice, and it's a very interesting, but a nice weapon. Wow, pretty cool. Okay, so now what we need to do is to build the torso, it seems like, based on the instructions here. So we need to get these two pieces, stick one through here, and then what we need to do is to get this blue piece right here, this is a pretty cool piece though. I like the color, I have to say. Um, wow. And uh, we just stick it in just like so. And that's what we kind of get. So what we need to do now is we need to actually build the legs. And uh, the first thing is we need to actually build the feet. And uh, there it is. There's one foot. 
And here is the other foot. Pretty simple there. Nothing too complicated. Uh, but, uh, you know, I want you guys to kind of update me on how the actual uh, competition is going. How are you all doing? Uh, like I said, guys, please do share the videos around. It is really, uh, you know, I really would appreciate if you guys actually do share the videos around and uh, let people enter. Because like I've mentioned, I know I keep, com you know, not complaining, but uh, I keep reiterating the point that uh, what's there to lose, guys, if you do enter? You're not losing anything. Um, if anything, you're we're more likely to win something than nothing. So I wanted to quickly show you guys the actual upper, uh, I guess, upper leg armor piece there. And this is actually one of them. And wow, it's very unique, guys. Very different to the 15 and 16 sets. And uh, I, li I like how they've actually added uh, the nice detail there. Now what we need to do is we just need to stick in the actual leg. Or I guess it should say the upper armor pieces just like so. So click it in. And then click the other one, and we have two legs. I was going to say two pairs of legs, but then that wouldn't make sense. Anyway, here we go. Let's stick it into the actual torso now, or the overall body. And uh, we are starting to get somewhere, guys. Look at that. Okay, so now what we need to do is to build the actual arms. And I actually want to show you these armor pieces here, which are attached to the arms. And wow, they look pretty cool, I have to say. And uh, like I said, very uh, detailed and uh, specific, if that's the right word. I like that. I like how LEGO have, you know, added such a piece like this. It's pretty cool. We need to now attach this piece right here with this piece right here. And it kind of just attaches like that. Okay, go in. There we go. And we stick it in. Stick it in, stick it in, just like that. So now since we have two hands, all we need to do now is to attach it to here. And then we attach the other one the other way. And then I'm sure you can uh, move the, oh crap, well it's the other way there around. There we go, so now we have the hands and uh, there's the mobility or the movement. I accidentally put it the other way around. So yeah, anyway, let's keep going. Now what we need to do is we need to add her, I guess her flying jets or something like that. So stick in a bush. There we go. Just like so. And then it should just fit to the end of her, or I guess the side, or the outside of her actual foot. Just like that. And we are getting somewhere. Pretty cool though. So, same thing on the other side. Just stick it in like so. And there we have another one. And uh, we stick it in through there, just like that. And then what we need is this piece. And uh, we stick it in just like so. Get a three pin axle, put it in through there. We need one of these. There, that piece there. And we just stick it in the back. So the back armor piece, as mentioned, guys, should kind of go in like this. So it goes in something like this. Hopefully, if it goes in and then it connects just like that. So what we need to do now is we need to build the actual head. And that's pretty easy, you know. Just stick in this red pin axle through there. Just like so. And then all we need is another red pin axle and just shove it in her mouth. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Stick it in like that. Kind of odd to put it like that, but anyway. So here is her Kanohi, guys, and it is known as the Kau Kau. <laughs> it's interesting because I can't pronounce it properly, but it's known as the Kau Kau Nuva. Kau Kau. And uh, wow, it is a great looking mask. I like the eye there. It's very interesting because it doesn't look anything like the Gali Nuva from the original 2002 Barnacle set. Uh, you know, it doesn't have the eyepiece right here, or nor does it actually have uh, this little thing here as well. Very cool though, I have to say. Uh, very similar to Toa Gali from the Mystica set as well. Uh, very similar, I guess, outline or kind of structure of the mask itself. It's very similar, but very cool though, I have to say. I like it a lot. So now that the actual Kanohi is attached to the actual head, we need to create kind of like the wings of Gali's Kanohi. Just like this, guys. Just 
Just like that. So quite bizarre guys, there you can see the actual wings and you can actually move them up and down. So yeah, it's very interesting. So yeah, maybe it's for gliding underwater, possibly, I don't know. They kind of look like elf wing, or I guess like an elf type of ear. But there it is. So now what we need to do is we just need to stick the actual head onto the body. And uh, it's connected through a uh, ball, I guess a joint, a ball joint like that. And you just need to stick it in inside that red axle right there. Okay, that broke off. But like that. So I just wanted to let you know that I actually screwed up the, the body piece there. I actually did it the other way around. And uh, that's why this couldn't actually fit properly. And I just wanted to all let you know that anyway. So now the back piece actually fits on properly now. And uh, that's what it should look like. And now it's, yeah, it fits perfectly just like so. Finally, but not least, we need to now finish the actual weapon. And uh, there are just a few attachments that need to be added on, such as this pin axle right here. Whoops. Okay, there's one. So after adding that piece, what we need to do is to add two more on each side. So, one here. Just like that. Just like so. Then we need to stick this little uh, red piece right there into this so kind of like that and uh, I guess that's meant to be the the red dot site kind of thing maybe just, in, just like that and there is the weapon done pretty cool I have to say uh, more advanced than Tahu's but wow pretty cool let's give it a try see if it actually works so let's see if this actually really works so there is the actual aimer let's try aim for her head let's see if this works kind of works but uh, yeah it has a uh, kind of its off days I guess <laughs> but uh, yeah the weapon does work very nicely and so there you have it guys there is Toa Gali completed now very interesting about Gali is the fact that she actually holds her weapons with both her hands and not with one uh, like Tahu and that's very very interesting but I have to say very cool because of the fact that uh, with her actual weapon uh, she has these awesome perks such as the awesome iron sight there and uh, this cool little beam there hopefully you guys can see that but that little beam right there and I have to say that's a pretty cool touch overall. But overall though guys I have to say she is a awesome set and uh, I, I I don't know why but to me personally I think that this I guess this uh, Tahu, not Tahu, <laughs> this Gali Nuva actually looks better than her original form. So guys, this is known as the adaptive armor form and uh, I actually like it. I really, really like it and um... I can't wait to do a review on so her. So with that said, guys, I really hope you all have enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe to my channel. Uh, there are many more videos I have. Uh, please go check it out if you do want to, of course. I have many more videos to come as well, guys, so please stay tuned for that. For now, guys, I hope you guys have a great day. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like this video as well, guys. I will be talking to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.